I'd like to play with one other idea with the number balance. Quite clearly there's a lot of different things you can do with them. But let's take this example. So what I'm going to do is put a peg here on 10 and another peg on, let's say, 2. So I've made 12 on that side of the balance. Now, one way I could balance that would be to have, in this case here, three weights on four, because three fours are 12. I could change that a little bit in that I have three fours are 12. I could put four weights onto the three there and four threes are 12. But you know, there's another way to show that. Let me show you what I mean. So in this case here, let's go back to three weights on four. And now we could actually put on this side here, four weights on the three. It doesn't matter if they don't all fit on one side because it's exactly the same on the back. So I could have the fourth weight there and you start to see that four threes and three fours both give me 12. Just another little idea that comes out of making use of the number balance.